don't know when your last breath is so you may as well just live it to the fullest right and there's nothing really stopping you that you know you can have it all you can do what you want and travel is an amazing way to really shift a lot of things in your life yeah and feel very empowered and in control absolutely Welcome to the A Midlife Traveler podcast, where we want you to go see the world, discover interesting stories about people, places, and practical advice to help you plan your next vacation. Hey, let's go see the world. Hey, happy new year from the A Midlife Traveler podcast. In these final hours of 2017, I am sending out this very special podcast episode for anyone out there who has travel as a New Year's resolution on your list. Well, actually, anyone who is interested in traveling and exploring the world and can use a bit of motivation or inspiration because today's episode is it's really about taking the courageous steps to make your life what you want it to be and how travel can be a path to that through self-discovery and empowerment. So maybe if you don't already have a New Year's resolution that includes travel, maybe after hearing this episode, you just might want to add that to your list. Because today, you are going to hear the story of Rachel Hill. Now, Rachel, to me, is a kindred travel spirit that I was so fortunate to meet recently. Uh, Rachel is an inspirer and a travel blogger, and she has built an online business around travel and helping others discover travel and explore the world. But it wasn't always this way for Rachel. You know, not too many years ago, she had a successful corporate career. She was earning six figures at a Fortune Top 50 corporation, but she felt unfulfilled and anxiety-ridden. And Rachel made a courageous decision at one point to just walk away from that career and to take a break. And that's when she found herself on a three-month trip traveling in Southeast Asia by herself. And that travel experience renewed Rachel's strength, her sense of self, and motivated her to build her life in a brand new way. So in this episode, you get to hear Rachel's story in her words. Now, this is a field recording, and we met at a very fun and a very noisy party in Killarney, Ireland, inside the J.M. Reedy on Main Street. So for anyone who has been to Killarney, you know the parties in Killarney, and that the J.M. Reedy is no exception. So at the time that this was recorded, it was the end of a three-day travel conference, which for me was part of my own two-week solo female travel trip in Ireland. And Rachel and I had started talking because she had just returned from a trip to Mongolia. Now, I have not personally been to Mongolia yet, so of course I wanted to know more. And naturally, as a result, now I want to go to Mongolia too, (laughs) someday maybe. But this episode is not about Mongolia, although she does very briefly talk about that at the end of this episode. But the bulk of this episode is about life empowerment and about enjoyment and about travel experiences. You're going to learn about Rachel's travel blog, which is racheltravels.com, and her mission to share her love of travel and encourage people to explore the world. Now, with all of our podcast episodes, we do post show notes and links on our website. So you can also find links to Rachel's blog on our website at amidlifetraveler.com. With that, Happy New Year, everyone, sincerely, and uh, safe travels wherever you may go in 2018. Okay, this is Laura with the Midlife Traveler podcast. And I am standing here live in Killarney, Ireland on downtown Main Street. There are parties happening all around us and there are cars going by and people. So if you hear people laughing, if you hear music, if you hear cars, it's all part of the fun. So I'm here with Rachel Hill. She is an amazing traveler that I met. She does a lot of solo female travel, world traveler for three years. She has a very cool blog. I'm going to let her tell you about the blog. Thank you, Laura, for having me. I am Rachel of Rachel Travels, and my 
blog is about empowering women through solo travel and also empowering them through one of the biggest concerns is that you know travel is too expensive and so teaching people that you can travel like a boss on a budget you don't have to break the bank and you don't have to you know not have children or be divorced or have all these traumatic things happen what? Really? Really? right accessible yeah it's super accessible <laughs> like you, there's nothing limiting you except for yourself and so through my platform I just try to give you guides and my reflections and share my bucket list and you know really teach you that you can do what you want and there's nothing limiting you so was there a point where you felt limited and oh, yeah. kicked you off into even starting your first trip? Like what Absolutely. was what was the catalyst? So much like many people, I you know had a very very comfortable life in corporate America, making over six figures. Like living in New York City, I had like the life that you know society tells you that you're supposed to have. Um, but I was not happy. I was suffering silently from depression and anxiety disorder. And so after a couple years of going to therapy on my lunch break every Wednesday I decided this is not for me um, and so I left corporate America and I decided to go backpacking through Southeast Asia for three months by myself and in the interim I started my blog as like an open journal to just tell my testimony and share the type of conversations that I was having with people and their you know curiosity with me traveling solo and from there I realized that I was speaking for women who you know wanted to do their own thing through travel but they felt like limited it being a mom or a wife or climbing the corporate ladder or being scared because they just didn't know or you know I don't have enough money and all of these things and I'm like I've heard those excuses too my yeah and I'm have like the exact no same excuses yeah and just really like, trying oh, to I empower should, I, didn't do it when I was in my 20s so I passed it up yeah no you don't know when your last breath is so you may as well just live it to the fullest right and there's nothing really stopping you that you know you can have it all you can do what you want and travel is an amazing way to really shift a lot of things in your life yeah and feel very empowered and in control absolutely. it sounds like you went to go have some quiet space and you found something different absolutely and it was life-changing for me travel really changed my life and I know I'm probably an extreme case where I traveled and created a business from it but outside of just creating a business it really taught me to be relentless and fearless and fierce in everything that I do because traveling solo you have to solve your own problems they're not people there to give you advice and insights you really just have to get over things quickly you have to problem solve by yourself you have to think analytically you have to think critically you have to think fast on your feet you have to budget on your own like you become this whole new person because you're thinking you're using different parts of your brain That's and your heart put it yeah you know like you're, yeah. you're tapping into all these different areas because now you're depending on yourself and so then when you get back into your real in the real world or your real life you have like these new set of skills and this new set of confidence that you probably never even tapped into or maybe before. things that used to stress you out before you're like oh good, that's I don't have no, time for it anymore compared to what I've been what absolutely I've already felt, right? I've already, so what are some of your tips then for traveling on a budget and mm -hmm. owning it up what are a couple of things that women can do I think money's a big one right people go oh I don't have the money that's what I hear people right. they don't have money and so, they have gorgeous cars and a nice absolutely. fancy purse and so I would never tell anyone not to, you know, have the nice things that you want, but we all make sacrifices, right? Like, just how you sacrifice to drive your nice car, you have your $300 boots. Like, I used to be that girl that had the $300 boots, and I love my $300 boots, but now it's like, do I want this experience that I can talk about and that, like, really changed me as a woman and allowed me to be who I am today, or do I want to, you know, have things that... Next season, I'm not even going to like it. Three months from now, I'm not even going to look at those boots, right? So I think the big tip as far as finances is really just understanding what's important to you um, and, and saving. Even if the $300 boots are important, like put a couple of dollars away every time you get paid. Put a few hundred dollars away every month. And maybe yeah. six months you have, you know, a whole trip saved up and you didn't even know it. But also, don't you feel like, um, so you're Atlanta is your home base, right? Yes. So I'm, I'm in Seattle and it, it feels like, a lot of my friends or colleagues that I know, like going to Europe seems like a big deal, mm -hmm. but they'll drop that or more on like going to Mexico or going Absolutely. to Hawaii or like a cruise to Alaska. Yeah. So the cost factor is actually not it's more expensive. expensive to go to Europe than it is to go to Hawaii. Absolutely. Right? So being based in Atlanta, I it cost me over $500 for me to fly from Atlanta to LAX versus... Uh, 
$500 for me to fly from Atlanta to say London and have an amazing overseas experience or to Paris or to many different destinations that's further that's completely different from being in the same country yeah. and so I want people to really understand if you sat down and just did the research you can have amazing experiences and still not spend all of your money right so your last trip you were telling me about you just came back from Mongolia is that yes. right yes it was amazing how long were you there so I was in Mongolia for a week and a half by myself but it was amazing because I met um, I was on a tour a trekking tour for seven days with a group of amazing people that I literally met the day that I joined the tour and we're still really good friends now so yeah it was so, awesome so actually that's a great point isn't that like a great secret sauce even if you're traveling say for two three weeks by yourself mm -hmm. you can sprinkle it in you can do these one day tours these half day tours absolutely these two -day tours. like you don't have to plan the whole thing you can right. be somewhere and go to something like a get your guide or something absolutely and, and choose a destination and meet friends and meet people yeah so one another big tip that i have is that when it comes to solo travel always do like a free walking tour yeah um, right major cities always right, have yeah. like a free walking tour and that's probably one of the best places to not only you see the city for free you obviously have to tip the guide at the end but you get to learn like where do the locals eat you know what are some little known facts about the area and you get like a tour so it's just really awesome and I've learned that every solo tour I've ever gone on I always end up meeting people to hang out with and have dinner with later or another person that's traveling so solo. when you do that is that through tours or is that where you stay because I, I think of like youth hostels and things in that area it's like okay that's a budget and you meet people yeah but say if you're doing like an Airbnb or a hotel it's not always easy to meet people. Right. You're so, still not going. I bet you can meet people somewhere. I can, but I think if you're not as outgoing, like free walking tours, or even paid tours are a, always a, a great place to meet people. Because even in Bali, I went by myself and I ended up um, paying for a tour. But everybody on the tour was solo. So we all ended up hanging out for like the rest of the week. Yeah. So it's a really great opportunity um, just to, to be amongst other people just by doing yeah. a, sim a simple thing as a tour. So you sound like you're living an amazing life. And I... I am thrilled Thank you. that you are trying to encourage women to yes, travel. Yes, absolutely. I, I also passionately believe that us ladies, we gotta check it out. Go out. If you wanna travel, feel like it. Try it. If you wanna yeah. change something, travel might not change your whole life, but it could change your perspective for a while. Yeah, and if not, now when? Like, stop waiting. You have nothing to wait for. Exactly. Save up your money and just live your life and have the best stories to tell ever. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you for having You're me, Laura. So thanks for listening to the Midlife Traveler podcast. If you're looking for any of the resources that were mentioned in today's episode, please go online to our website at amidlifetraveler.com. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe, rate, and review us online at iTunes and uh, just send us a note. Tell us what you think about the podcast. We would really appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs>